the beginning of our body scrubby, we'll start with a section of half double crochets. And to do that, you will start with a slip knot. So wrap your yarn around your fingers, reach in, bring up your loop. When you do this though, you do wanna make sure you leave a nice long tail for sewing later. So make your slip knot. And then we're going to chain 15. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. And for row one, we're going to be working in the back loops. Let's get to a lighter color so you can see. So on the front, you've got the part that looks like a V and you turn it over and you've got these back bumps on the back and we're gonna be working into those. So you're gonna yarn over, you're gonna to go to the second chain from the hook, insert your hook and do your half double crochet, just like that. And then you're going to half double crochet all the way to the end of your chain. So just working in those back loops, you're gonna half double crochet until you've reached the end of row one. For rows two through 18, when you reach the end of a row, you will chain one and turn, and then do a half double crochet starting in that very first stitch and then you will just half double crochet all the way to the end of the row. So just one half double crochet in each stitch until you come to the end of the row. And you'll continue to do this for rows two through 18. And then once you've reached the end of the row, you'll chain one and turn and then start again in that first stitch. Once you have completed row 18, it will be time to start working on your puff stitches. And so for row 19, we're going to chain two, turn, and do one puff stitch in every other stitch. So we're going to skip this first stitch and do our first puff stitch in this next one. So yarn over, insert your hook, bring up a loop, that's one. Yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch, bring up the loop, that's two. Yarn over, go into the same stitch, bring up your loop, that's three. Grab your yarn, pull through all seven loops, and then chain one. And then you'll skip a stitch and go into the next one. So here's one, two, and three. Pull through, chain one, skip the stitch, do a puff. And you're gonna do this all the way to the end of row 19. For rows 20 through 58, when you reach the end of your row, you'll chain two, turn, and then you're going to be working in just the stitch at the top of each of the puffs. So you're gonna skip this space here Yarn over, go into that stitch at the top of the puff, bring up your loop, that's one, into that same stitch, there's two, and three. And then you'll pull through and chain one. Now you're gonna go to the next stitch here at the top of the next puff, skipping this space here. Yarn over, insert your hook, Bring up your loop, there's one, two, 
and three. And chain one. And you're gonna work all the way across, only going into the stitch at the top of each of the puffs. And one, two, three, pull through, chain one. Just got a couple more here. Here's one, two, three, pull through, chain one. Here's one, two, three, pull through, chain one. Now at the end of each row, you'll have your puff stitch here at the top of this puff, and then you'll have this chain two space here, and you're going to do a puff right into that chain. So you're gonna yarn over, go right through that chain space. There's one, two, and three, pull through, and then chain two and turn. And you'll just repeat that all the way until you have completed row 58. So skipping the spaces, you're only working into the stitch at the top of each puff. One, two, and three, pull through, chain one, and that starts your next row. So at the end of each row, your final puff will be in that chain space. And then you'll chain two, and your first puff will go at the top of the next puff right there. Once you have completed row 58, that will be your final row of puff stitches, it'll be time to work some more rows with your half double crochets. And so here I've come to the end of a puff stitch row here. I'm gonna pull through. And then instead of chaining two, you'll just chain one to get started on your half double crochets. So for row 59, You'll chain one, turn your work, and we're going to be working in each stitch all the way across. So you have this stitch here that's at the top of this space. So yarn over, you're gonna go right into that first stitch. You're not going through the space, you're going through the stitch and do your half double crochet. And then you'll have a half double crochet in the stitch at the top of the puff. And then in the next stitch, and then at the top of the puff, and so on and so forth until you've reached the end of your row. And here I've come to the end of row 59. I'm going to just do my final half double crochet into that chain two space there. And then I am ready to begin the next rows. So row 60 through 76, you will chain one, turn your work, and do a half double crochet in each stitch. So yarn over, you're gonna go right into that very first stitch there, and do your half double crochet, and then do a half double crochet in each stitch all the way across. And these rows will all be the same. So you'll just go all the way across, half double crochet in each stitch. Couple more. Make sure you catch that very final stitch there. And then chain one, turn, 
and repeat. So you'll continue to do this all the way through row 76. Once you have finished row 76, you're gonna cut your yarn, leaving a long tail, thread your yarn needle, and then you're gonna take this end and fold it over so this end matches up with that last row of half double crochets that you did right before the puff stitches. So just line that up. And then you're just gonna take your yarn needle and weave it through both the stitches on this part and on the piece that you just folded over. And you're just going to whip stitch all the way across. So going into the stitch down here and then up through the stitch on the end. And you're just gonna do this all the way across until you've reached the other end. So making sure you're going through both sides all the way across. And just a few more. And then hopefully you're still matched up by the time you reach the end. And then once you get down to this last stitch, you can turn it to the side and go through that final stitch. And we're gonna come back over here, push your yarn needle through so you can tie off. And then you'll weave in those ends and cut off the excess yarn.